Hey everyone, it's Salima Mamdani and I have got a treat for you today. We're going to be talking to Lori Miller. Um, she recently completed the Fully Book Designer program. I am so thrilled to talk to her about her, her experience inside the Fully Book Designer. So Lori, why don't you introduce yourself? Say hi. Hi, I'm Lori. Nice to meet everyone. <laughs> and you're based out of Long Island. Yes. Were, right? Awesome. Yes. And tell us a little bit about your signature service. What, what is it that you focus on? What type of design do you do? So we do pretty much whole house design. Um, and I guess our signature services are color consultations pretty much um, because, um, I'm, you know, I'm really good at color and just kind of finding where people's personalities fit with what colors they need because of my psychology background. Awesome. So tell us a little bit about where you were before you started the Fully Book Designer program. Oh, so, so much fun. Sorry, the like... steering wheel thing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I had a social media person on staff. Um, I had actually wow. gone through three of them. Wow. And I wasn't increasing my numbers. I wasn't getting business. Um, I, I, yeah, it just wasn't working for me. And I really didn't know what to do. I didn't understand social media. Um, it just didn't make sense to me. Um, so I, I was like, why is this important? What do I need to do? How do I get clients from it? How does it work? What is marketing? You know, that's like a whole nother piece. I'm an artist, I'm a social worker, I'm, it, but this whole technology was yes. far beyond my scope of consciousness. So I reached out to a few different people who were doing it, who I kept seeing, like, who engaged me, um, you know, like, oh, this is interesting. This is interesting. And I just felt like I connected with you and I liked your personality and it wasn't like exorbitant money. It was like, okay, I can learn something from this. Yeah. So I engaged in the Fully Booked Designer program. Awesome. And what were, I mean, the Fully Book Designer program is a bit more than just social media. So it is. <laughs> tell us a little bit about what were some of the other nuggets that you walked away from inside the program when you were doing it? And your wipers are on. Yeah, it's snowing. Oh, oh, <laughs> or it was. <laughs> Life in, in upstate New York. Yeah, right, exactly. Oh my God, we've had the weirdest weather. I know. Oh, sorry, I did something. No, I, I really did something. Time. Oh no, where are You're you? Fine. There you go. <laughs> yeah. So, um, uh, yeah, I had no idea what you were. I, that was kind of my thought. But what I ca came away with was a form of advertising, a form of connection, um, how people hire you. It's like a whole different piece of making my business run. Yeah. Um, it's your value. It's targeting what you're good at, what your signature service is, how you're perceived, what you want to be, what you want to own. So it was, uh, it was a lot of nuggets for sure. Yes. Um, I learned what a calendar is. I learned about consistency. <laughs> I learned what a calendar is. Yes. Universe and it would occur, but that didn't really happen. Yeah. Yeah. You can only manifest or visualize for so long until you realize you got to put some action to it. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And you went through like a big transformation in your business as we were going through this. You updated your website and you were also working on um, the Hampton House. Like there was a lot going on while you were doing this program. There was a lot going on. And then um, I had my dad in the hospital and then I had a whole bunch of other challenges. Um, so yes, it was definitely. And here's where you have to run. You have to run a business through the challenges. Yeah. I can't so, see you or hear you right now. There you go. Yeah, you have, you know, you have to run a business through challenges and everything. People still want their furniture. They still want deliveries. They still, you know, expect service. They paid for things and they don't really, you know, it's not their problem that you have personal stuff going on. Yeah. 
So that too added to my challenges. Yeah. So um, talk a bit about, you know, you've mentioned a few times you felt supported through the program. So what was that like? Oh my God, it was amazing. For me, it was amazing because I had someone that I can go to to answer, answer my questions. And you were very, very, very specific. Um, you know, you showed me how to use Canva. You showed me how to use the programs. You showed me how to do a Facebook Live. I mean, that was like one of my other biggest things is like, what is a Facebook Live? Like, what do you mean I get on like this video and people see me? And what do you mean that like, oh, okay. So I post that I'm going live at 10 a.m. tomorrow and people actually follow that. Yes, so, yes. <laughs> So these were like huge for me to have that, those concrete steps yes. and that full explanation of what happens and how it happens. Yeah. It's amazing, right? When you show up and how people watch you. And so yeah. I think there's actually a funny story that comes from that about finding a contractor oh. <laughs> and impressing him with your knowledge. I know. Tell that's a bit was, about that. That's a funny story. That is a funny story. So I did, you know, we were working on a bathroom while you and I were working together. And it was a client's bathroom in addition to my own house. So my house was under mass construction. I had no kitchen, whatever. So here I am doing this live video in a bathroom. And, um, uh, you know, I was talking about some of the challenges that occur when you're doing a bathroom and things that we don't often know. Or, you know, we ask the question and then you open the walls and you find out it's a little bit different. So I posted that like one of the challenges in this bathroom was we needed a new toilet because we ordered a standard 12 inch toilet and there's nothing standard in any job ever. And I should know that. So, you know, and that contractor said, you know, just get the 12 inch. I was like, okay, we'll get the 12 inch. Well, it wasn't. And I had no idea people were watching this video other than my friends who told me, I can't believe you're taking a video in a bathroom. They're like, how disgusting is that? They're like, you have to be more professional. And I'm like, well, it has nothing to do with being professional. This is what I do. I go into people's bathrooms and I make sure like they're beautiful. Yeah. And so, that they work. Exactly. So here I am at my part-time life. And one of the people that I work with had actually seen the video. Someone had asked him or mentioned that they were doing a house. And he said, well, call Lori. And they're like, call oh, Lori. They're like, yeah, she's sitting right there. And I'm like, what? You know, I hear my name. And he's like, yeah, I was kind of amazed. He's like, you did a video and you actually knew the difference of a toilet. And I was like, you saw my video? <laughs> and he happened to be a contractor. And he happened to be a contractor. That's incredible. So, nice. Yeah, so that was really, really cool. So, and, you know, I've been getting comments like that across the board. So it's really nice to know that people are, I'm engaging people. They're watching. They're paying attention. Yeah. And I think at one point, this is, there's actually another um, lesson in there that I wanted to kind of unpack because we talked about this, you and I. Um, you had said, well, my friends are giving me this feedback or my friends are saying this about my post. What do you think? And I said, no, you've got to keep, you know, you've got to follow what I'm telling you to do. Yeah. And I don't know if it was begrudgingly or trustingly, you just did it. And I it paid trusting. off, right? Yeah, it really has. I mean, I've gotten three jobs from it so far. Wow. Right. Yeah. So, so that's huge. I think the lesson there is you've got to know who to listen to. Yes. Uh, right. I mean, friends are great. We love them. But they right. may not have that eye a coach or a mentor does. Right. In terms of growing your business. They'll tell right. you when you need to put, refresh your lipstick. But, <laughs> but beyond that, you, you know, sometimes a coach probably knows what they're talking about. So Yeah, no, absolutely. So tell me about some of the results. I know you've got to go. You've got clients waiting for you. So quickly, let's talk about some of the results you created from the Fully Booked Designer Program, because I think everybody wants to know. So, you know, every, I, like a lot, I've been hearing a lot of other designers are slow or, you know, they've petered out. Um, and I am definitely not slow. So, yeah. you know, we've gotten a full house and she said, I want it done by Christmas. And I was like, wait, let's be realistic. You just hired me. You know, we're three days into Thanksgiving. We're not making it by Christmas. There's no way. 
Um, so, you know, we're working on that project, which is where I'm going to be at 11 o'clock. And I've gotten three other jobs. Some woman called me up and she was like, my daughter's friend saw you on Facebook. <laughs> and she said, you're doing your kitchen and you did a great job. And can you come do mine? I've been, I've been in this process for three years and I can't make a decision. So, you know, another kitchen, there it is. So I've, you know, I've definitely gotten three good jobs out of it and a lot of inquiries at this point. So mm -hmm. I'm not stopping now. People stop me on the street and they're like, oh, I saw you and I, I look, so look forward to your Wacky Wednesday. They're like, I love the pieces you choose. So yeah. even if I'm not getting clients, I'm getting that feedback. Um, I think I've got 500 new, I don't know what you call them on Instagram, followers or likes or whatever. So I, I've upped my numbers. to. We're almost at 2,000 now, which I was really trying to get to. I think we were at like 12 or 1,300 when we started. So, you know, the engagement is there. I'm definitely up on engagement. I've got like 200 people looking, looking at um, things, you know, whether awesome. it's like 14 likes or whatever. But, you know, to have 200 people reached, is a big deal because we were only at like 10, you know, so yeah. yeah. That so is I a huge accomplishment. Congratulations. Is huge. Thank you. Yeah. And I have a handle on it. I have my calendar. I know what Tuesdays are. I know what Wednesdays are. I know, you know, I can, on Sundays, I post something personal. It's about, you know, whatever it may be. Yeah. So uh, yeah. And I have, you know, one of my girlfriends, I've been trying to get her to work for me for years Yes, and, talk about this. I forgot. Yeah. You've got a team now. Oh my I goodness. Team again, thank <laughs> God. So one of my girlfriends, I've been trying to get to work for me and she kind of, I don't know if she didn't take me seriously. I don't know if she didn't understand, but I kind of watched her process and she was like, oh, you know, kind of, oh, I love your posts. Oh, they're getting better. Oh, who's doing your social media now? And I'm like, I am. She's like, you're doing it so much better. Yeah. So, you know, she lost her job or she quit her job. And I was like, could you come help me in the office? Well, now she wants to, she's excited, you know? And I do think that's a result of what I'm doing because I do, I, I, it feels valid. Yes. You know, and it has integrity. Yes. Like not me, I've always had integrity, but the business itself has that structure and that integrity and that feeling of like, yeah, this is going somewhere. This is something, yeah. this is important. This is you know, it feels huge. So I have her on board. And then one of my old clients had been following and we had always talked about running a business together. And she also, you know, lost her job or left. And she was like, I have an opportunity to do something fun and I would love to do it with you. And I was like, I'd love you know, we've been working together now for about two months. And she's excited and on board. And now I'm teaching them like a calendar and what we need to do so I can have the support and posting and take it off my plate every day. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely yes. love it. Uh, tell me, Lori, beginning of the year, looking back like maybe six or eight months ago. Oh my God. Th is this what you had, you could have predicted? No, definitely awesome. not. Definitely not. I knew I needed something. Yeah. It was like the turkey without the basting. You know, I had the show houses. <laughs> you know, I had the show houses, the publicity. <laughs> I had the speaking. I had everything. But I didn't have, I guess, that core value of what we have in our decade. And I didn't know how to get that. So now I feel everything's integrated. You know, when someone calls for a podcast, like I had the podcast with um, the Chase Lounge. Yeah. You know, it's kind of, it's valid. It's posted. It's like, oh yeah, we're going live, you know, with the Chase Lounge. This is so cool. Yes. So it's all kind of integrated and out there. When I did Holiday House last year, I didn't have that social media support behind me and I didn't have that validity. But doing the Hamptons House, it was like, oh yes, you know, we have, and, and you helped me with this. Yes, we have um, the engagement tool. You can have our booklet of resources. Who knew you have to do that? So, yeah. you know, oh, so here's that giveaway. Here's the takeaway. You know, oh, now we'll do one for January. So now that we're on board and the website's finally done, um, you know, it'll, it's nice to have those pieces integrated. It really is. Yeah. And to understand it.
my one word for you in working with you is perseverance and commitment. <laughs> like, I, I know that's two words, but seriously, when we first met, there was like a lot of information and a lot of like expectation that you were kind of wading through. I don't think all of the stuff that you've mentioned was even part of your vocabulary then. No, and it wasn't. At, like amazing, amazing outcome. What, yep. would be, what would be one big breakthrough or big lesson that you think you got from this? Oh my God, just one. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I think that it is, na I don't know what the word is, navigatable, um, or you can navigate it. You just have to have the tools. And that's what you gave me was those tools to navigate the system. Yeah. So, and I, I you know, I didn't have that. No, I, I didn't understand it, but I do now. And Absolutely. it's huge. And it's working for you. So congratulations. You forgot to mention the award that you're picking up this Thursday. Yes, the award that I'm picking up this Thursday. So um, I think just as we started working together, I had gotten the email in my inbox. You won top designer of the year from the International Association of Top Designers. So I was like, how did you even find me? And now it's like, um, you know, I've connected with architects that are huge and engineers and whatever, because I was able to post it. And I had posted it once flat, and then you walked me through a step and had to post it. And then all of a sudden it was like, oh my God, so exciting. Oh my God, so exciting. And then one of the um, countertop people that I work with, um, I was at, I was at some awards gala um, for the industry and he came over. He's like, congratulations on your award. I'm like, you saw it? Like, <laughs> so cool. So, and there I am with David Rockwell. I'm like, hey, David, did you see my award? <laughs> yeah, you know. Sure. Just a day. <laughs> I love it. I love, I've enjoyed working with you and I am thrilled to see the results you're fully booked until february um, I am. you've got team and support and people all over the city are recognizing you what I more could you ask it. for yeah exactly it's amazing it's amazing yeah and you know i i'm in an interior design group and whenever someone says what's the best thing i can do i'm like watch your videos yeah watch your videos you know i can't make them uh, you can lead a horse to water but I think once they watch your videos, like I did, it's engaging and they can definitely learn something from you. So that's my recommendation. You Thank are you. unbelievable and reasonable. You know, you weren't like $4,000 a month and you weren't crazy and you worked with me. And yeah, it was definitely huge. Great. Great. I wish you nothing but success. I know your next client is waiting. So yeah. I am going so to um, say a huge thank you for having the faith in me and in really doing the work. It's all about that. I always say this, I can show you the way, but you have to do the work and you did. You really do. And I don't even do it fully yet, you know, because I've been so piecemealed, but I know that once I really get into it, it's going to be like beyond my expectations. Yeah. So this is just my pieces. <laughs> I love it. Congratulations, Lori. All right. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Take